Uh, we're, we're here today to, uh, to introduce some what we think is very good legislation. Um, over the last few years, the, this General Assembly has really taken up the cause of transparency. Last year we passed uh, Senate Bill 300, which has already been put into, into motion uh, with the new open.ga.gov website. And this is another step in our efforts to make your state government as transparent as possible. Uh, joining me today in a nonpartisan slash bipartisan manner, of course, is Alan Essig, uh, Senator Tim Gold, and Senator Greg Goggins. Senator Goggins is the author of this legislation and will carry it for us in the state Senate. Uh, but as indicated uh, earlier and as evidenced today by the people that are here, this is clearly not a partisan issue, but rather a good government issue uh, that, that knows no party. Uh, we intend through this legislation uh, to make government spending and government taxation uh, even more transparent, uh, letting the people know not only where is their money going, uh, but who are receiving tax credits, who, are, who, who in our state are receiving tax benefits so that we know that we're making good public policy. Uh, there's one thing that is, that is evident to everyone, and that is, is that uh, allowing the people uh, to see what their government is doing is good for everyone. So with that, uh, I'm going to have to leave, but I'm going to turn it over to Senator Goggins, who is the author of this bill, and I just want to say that he has the full support of the Majority Leader's Office in, in doing everything we can to push this legislation through as quickly as possible. Thank you very much. Let me just, I'm going to give a little bit of history, a little bit about the sales tax. As you know, the, the general sales tax is a very important revenue source for the state of Georgia. It accounts for about 34 percent of our tax revenue. And each year we as policymakers come together and we're able to approve tax policies, we're able to renew tax policies, uh, we're able to uh, give more tax credits, more tax deductions, more tax exemptions. And while some or many of these may have a, a, a purpose at the same time, the problem is that there's little or no transparency or accountability at this point to these special tax provisions. We as policymakers can see the direct funding and direct spending as we go through the appropriations process. But once there's a special tax provision enacted, at that point we no longer see it or can no longer track the magnitude of that which we passed. Now one must remember that for every dollar that is foregone to some exemption, that means there's a dollar here less that we have to use for a broader population. And I believe that we can all agree that we need to be able to treat appropriations that are foregone, revenue that are foregone, that come from tax policies should treat them no different than our appropriations that we budget. They should be treated the same. In Georgia today, obviously, you know we face about a $2.5 billion revenue shortfall. So don't you think it's time that we, as a body, the General Assembly, come together and take a more broader, comprehensive view of the budget, that we not only look at our direct funding, but we also look at our indirect funding that comes from our tax policies. And so what we're asking is in this bill, the bill is, we'll ask OPB each year to develop a comprehensive tax expenditure budget report. And this will allow us to quantify the magnitude of the indirect cost of our tax policies. And I truly believe, I think that you can agree that this will allow policymakers as well as all Georgians a greater picture of how their tax dollars are being used. And we feel like this is good policy that should be enacted in the state of Georgia. And I appreciate Mr. Essex to his work here, and I appreciate uh, Senator Gold and his willingness to work on the other side for us. At this point, I will turn it over to Senator Golden. 
Great. I'm not sure what all I can add other than my thanks to uh, Senator Goggins for offering this bill and Chip Rogers, Majority Leader, for his support. And of course, uh, without question, Alan Essick and the Georgia Budget and Policy Institute for all their outstanding work over the years. They've been a great resource for me personally uh, and for this General Assembly over the years. I'm very grateful to this group. Let me just say I agree with Senator Goggins' comments. You know, I've been the uh, author of many tax cut bills in my 19 years in the Georgia legislature in the House and Senate. I'm very proud of those, but at the same time, I think it's very important we know where our tax dollars are being spent. Uh, what We also need to know where exemptions are, and we need a thorough examination of tax revenue in Georgia. And uh, considering the circumstances we're in right now with this economy, uh, I don't think it could be any more timely than, than right now. So I'm very proud to be one of the co-authors of this bill, joined with my colleague and my friend from whose district borders mine, and I'm very proud of Greg Goggins and proud to stand in here today with him, uh, embracing and endorsing this, this effort. With that, I'm going to turn it over to Alan Essex. I believe Alan has a few comments, and again, I appreciate very much, Alan, the great work you do and your institute does. Thank you. Well, I want to thank um, Senator Goggins and Senator Rogers and Senator Golden for um, um, taking the lead on, on, on pushing this idea through. Um, this is something that you know, Georgia is one of the few states that doesn't have, you know, th this kind of report, a tax expenditure report. And it's been um, recommended by, got my notes, oh, jeez. Um, in, in addition to Georgia Budget and Policy Institute making this recommendation, the Georgia Department of Audits and Accounts has made, and, and when they try to do a study of the, um, some of the economic development tax credits, they had trouble doing the study because they, they didn't have the information. They couldn't find the information they needed. So one of their number one recommendation was a state developer tax expenditure report. The Pew Center for the States, um, which, does the, um, all, which, which does the rankings of, difference of, of state management, um, they recommended that um, Georgia have a tax expenditure report. So it's something that I think is bipartisan. It's a purely good government issue. Um, it doesn't make a judgment on whether what which individual tax policy might be right or wrong, all it does is it allows the General Assembly the information to make those kinds of judgments. And it does put the um, state tax policy on the same playing field as the budget policy. The Senate over the last six years, I think, has taken the lead in um, developing a more open, transparent, accountable budget process. Um, the tax process has not followed that in the, um, over the last six years. And this puts us on the road to, to to bringing tax policy, the transparency, the openness, um, up to the same level that we've had in the budget process. Um, so from our perspective, it's just a good government bill that will allow, if at some point the General Assembly decides to undertake some kind of comprehensive tax reform, this is the type of basic information you need. Whatever path, whatever road they want to go down with that, you need this kind of basic information to make the decisions they're going to need to make. Um, so again, I want to thank Senator Goggins, Senator Rogers, Senator Golden um, for sponsoring this bill and, and um, helping, and helping to try to push it through.